Hi there, I'm Noel Feather. I'd like for you to meet a couple of friends of mine. This is Mike Helfrich and uh, Dave Beals. And uh, they've invited me to uh, come along and do some hunting with them. Uh, one of their local hot spots, I think. Well, we got some nice deer <laughs> up here. <laughs> I never, uh, never turned down a chance to uh, do some hunting at uh, a spot that's supposed to be real good, you know. But uh, anyway, we're gonna we're uh, gonna do the you know gonna do some hunting this week. Do the the best we can. We we plan on doing some rattling. Uh, we're gonna see if I can rattle these boys in a buck. Hopefully, anyway. And uh, also, we're gonna show you a little bit of hunting that's a little bit different than. Uh, than what I've ever showed before in a video, and that's the use of decoys. I want to use the decoy and yeah, uh, you know. show us making some pushes, and uh, uh, that's a very productive way to hunt. It's, been, it's not anything yeah, you, new. People have been you, hunting that way for years. Yeah, you put the decoy out there, and you can get the deer to stop for just long enough for you to get well, that shot to check out that decoy. A, a lot of times, that's yeah. all it takes, you know. Yep. And uh, yeah, so we we, we want to. never tried it before. You've never yet. done with a decoy. No, not yet. It's not. It's really not new. As like I said, the uh, the making drives or pushes is not really new, but the decoy is probably newer than than the drives. You know. Well, they, the, the decoys should go in good with the push. Well, they do. That's the yeah. thing I want to try to show. Because when you're you're making a push, a lot of times the deer comes through on the run, yep. and if you can get that buck to stop, to he sees pause. the decoy yep. and he'll stop. It yep. gives you time to uh, to make the shot. And uh, they've been several videos out the last two or three years with you know showing the use of decoys. And it's uh, I like to use them during the rut when you're using the grunt call and the rattle horns. They work real well. Oh, yeah, I, I've heard you that know, works. Well. A lot of times. Right. Uh, that works real well and we may be able to get some footage of the deer coming to the decoy when we're rattling or whatever and we'll we'll try that too but uh we'll try a little bit of everything just see what works and uh hopefully okay. we'll do some good at one of them well i sure hope so you know so yeah, you, you yeah. rattle one in close to me i'm gonna stick it you're gonna lay the wood to it. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay let's uh let's go get those stands up and uh and see right. what we can do okay let's you go. folks come along and see how we do Right here is where he come through. The best I remember, he went right straight through here. And there is pretty good blood right here, but I'm almost positive I seen that buck go down. I mean, I seen white. I think it was his belly hair when he when he went down. But let's just follow the blood. But I'm sure that that was him. And he went right straight down through this, this hillside and crossed down into that swamp, looks like. I don't know how swampy that is down in there. We might have a little problem. 
one wind behind. I'm not on blood right now, but this is where he went. Looks like he's where he tore the leaves up right here. I feel a little bit better if I can find a lot of blood. I'd like to stay on the trail if I could. Right in there is where he should be. Here's blood right there. Look at here. He's picking up now, buddy. See there? Yep. Right here. Where you mean? Yep. Right there. Right down through here. Before here. Good blood there. Right straight on down here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at there. Now either he went this way. Looks like he went there. Let me check down here. He was bleeding real good there. Well, let's just go on down through here. I'm not on blood, but I'm on this too. This is good. I think, he, I think he went up the hill a little bit and went down through there where he run through there a little bit easier. Well, I can check a little bit more to see if I can find blood up there. I think he went down this way, across the side of that hill there. I thought he went in before he got there. There should be blood somewhere where he crossed this little road I don't see it. Don't see it. Let me check higher up here. If I don't stick it up here in there, I'm just going to walk on down there because I'm sure. Here it is, right here. Here's where he went in, right here. Right there. Just this right fork here. Here we go. Man, look how he's pumping it out here. Yep. Right here. Get on down through here. Ahead there. That's what I was seeing. I told you I seen white flag. That's what I seen when he, when he rolled over. I seen that white hair. There's a lot of brush down through there between where we was at and where he went down. Boy, he's a dandy, isn't he? He's a nice buck. Pull him out there and let's take a good look at him. Get a hit on him though, man. Yep. See there? Perfect. Sure do. Man, he's got a gnarly old rack. Look at the bases on that. Gnarly old rack on him. 
You shot Mr. Gnarly. And you shot him good. Well, I'll tell you why. He didn't go down as quick as some of them have, but he he didn't go far. What'd you hit him with? One of them muzzies again? <laughs> you betcha. Shot him that little hundred grain. Man, that thing does a number on it, huh? That cuts through one just like butter. Boy, he's a nice old buck. I well, he got some bases on him now. Look yeah, at those bases. That, I believe that one's got some age on it. Yep, I believe he's got some age on it. Them bases are big. Yeah. Kind of melted in with that. His brow tines, but they look like they're probably five and a half, six inches around. Yeah, he's pretty buck. He's pretty good shot on him. They're doing a lot of fighting right now. They're kind of roughed up. Some of them had their butt kicked. Well, get the tag on that thing. Throw that old tag on him. Camp He's a good one, Matt. All righty, no. Good shot. Now let's join Mike Helferich as he tries to take a nice buck with the use of a decoy. Man, was that beautiful! Boy, that was a kill. Oh, my heart was going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> oh man, sitting on this limb, I was just like, I thought I was ready to fall off. I'm glad I didn't. I couldn't believe it. Those does came by down that trail, and it was just. Oh, and they stood, they stood, and they stood. They didn't want to go anywhere. Man. Congratulations, that was beautiful. Oh, thanks. Man, I'll, I'll tell you what. That boat gets kind of hard to pull back on like that, gets <laughs> me. Watch closely as this buck kicks high in the air, as oftentimes they do when shot through the heart. Oh, man. Man, I tell you what, 
My bed is a nice buck. I'm, I'm still weak in the knees. I, I don't know if I can climb down. <laughs> that son of a gun come right by me. I think I got some real good footage of him myself. Oh, great, great. You guys get everything? Because I, oh, I don't know if we got him going down, but I, I, I know he held it on him for a while. Looked like a real good hit, huh? Oh, his hind legs kicked straight up in the air when he I hit him. He went by me. I couldn't I, see him, but I, he looks like a real good buck, I'll tell you that. I can't swear to it because I didn't see the arrow hit because I was keeping that pin right on him when I released, but I think I heart shot him. Boy, he's a, he's a uh, nice buck. Boy. He's a good one. That is a dandy. Here, I'll see if I can lower my bow and climb down. <laughs> he's a good one, boy. I got some real good footage of him, I think. Good. Oh, uh, boy. He is a pretty one. You can't get too much footage of something like that. You see the decoy? Or he switched. He, he come in and stop and look at the decoy. That, that, that whole group here just they they, they they come in and 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 the, as, as, as each one saw that decoy, they stopped and they looked at it and then one would wander on. And and, and he stood back here behind wow. me for the longest time. He's a little bit excited, are you? Oh, this bow got heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what. Well, that decoy looks good. I'll tell you what, when something like that walks under you, that bow gets a little harder to pull back, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, the blood, Mike. Oh, man, blood immediately. Look at this. Look at the blood right here. Golly, no. I'm sure glad ready. I sharpened those plates before we come out. That's the way it's put up. It's You didn't well, get him going down? No, I don't, no, I don't think I got him going down, but the angle, I couldn't even get the shot. I think he's come by me, but I didn't scream. Just walk off the blood, I think he... I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he got him going down. Well, that's good. 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 Went across this ditch right across here. Across right here? Yep. Yep, right here, the car is a big car. I'll put it up on the other side right there.
<laughs> you love success, don't you? Exactly. Everybody does, loves that. Yeah, that's a nice big old, mm -hmm, nice nice. Big old buck. Uh, well, the work begins. I don't know. I'd, I'd say that bugger might go to 160 or something. No, oh, you'll beat that. 170? Oh, yeah. That's a good That's a good buck. He's pretty heavy to the chest. Yeah, right. Get yeah. neck on him. I'd yeah. say that. Go 175 or better. He's a good one. Well. Let's go back well, up and get your, your gear and uh, come back down here. We'll gut him out and tag him and we'll go right back up through there. That's the closest way to front. we get right back up there. Okay, get, yeah, we, right yeah we better get the stand yeah, get down. Your, and, yep. Get your stuff and we'll, okay. we'll head on out. Over the years, you've heard me preach in a lot of videos about the importance of sharp broadheads. And... Uh, I do feel very strongly about it. I think a sharp broadhead is one of the most important things in, in good bow hunting. Sure is. And I've been using a little uh, tool for a couple of years here now for sharpening broadheads and sharpening knives. And I just happen to have the man in camp with me this week that uh, is the man that uh, sells it, owns it. And uh, I would like to ask Mike to demonstrate this little tool for the folks who are watching this video. and. Uh, you know, let them see how it works and yeah. how it will sharpen a broadhead quick, uh, will sharpen a knife quick, and, uh, you know, just let you demonstrate it to them. Uh, okay. So if you would, Mike, why, go well, through sure, it well, quick like, you know, just show them. You betcha. What I've got here is the Ready Sharp Sharpen Saw. And as the name implies, you know, this device will sharpen just about anything that a guy can fit in this clamp. The reason is you change the angle just by changing to the various size wheels that come in the kit. Now, originally I started out with just a kit with one wheel just for replaceable broadheads and uh, two blade broadheads. And then I expanded it into the sharpening saw. So first I'd like to demonstrate a little bit about sharpening broadhead. Now, that's the most important piece of equipment a man owns, but it's the most overlooked by a lot of us. Uh, artery is real similar to this rubber band. Now with just the weight of the arrow, that should fall right through. That may be sharp. That is sharp. And not even a lot of brand new blades do that. That's true. Now, here is something that really impressed me though. How easy I can go a blade. Again, with just the weight of the blade. I mean that's like getting out of your quiver for it. Right? That's right. They'll get dull just putting them in out the quiver. It doesn't take a whole lot to dull a broadhead. That is the difference between wounded deer and taking them home, right there. You, got you know, it. a lot of times a guy will he'll hit a deer, got real good blood, and then a little ways nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because he didn't cut the arteries. If you cut arteries, that deer much to dull it. Exactly. That deer isn't going to quit bleeding if you cut arteries. Right. But now let's go a step further. Let's just go ahead and shoot that thing right in the dirt. That's dull. Okay. I'll show you how simple it is to sharpen. You line the blade up parallel to the edge of the clamp. Hold it in place with your finger. Snug it down with the Allen wrench. Now start out on the coarse paper. See, the beauty of the system is the wheel holds the angle for you. This is cool. On the coarse paper, you just go back and forth. See, instead of stones, I use a silicon carbide auto body finishing paper. That's actually better than a stone. Let's put so the edge on. 
Well, with, with the stone, you wind up wearing a groove in it. Right. And you're going to deform everything you try to sharpen on it. Oh, I understand. It's the angle. This is always perfectly flat. That little tool keeps that the, the perfect the angle. The exact angle. And that's, that's the right. only trick. If you can hold the exact angle every stroke, you can sharpen anything. Man, I used to spend so much time sharpening arrows, <laughs> it wasn't even funny. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and never going to get them sharpened. And now. these little things are hard to hang on to just right. by hand. Yeah. Then, once you get a burr on both sides, then you go to the fine paper, and you only go forward, lift it up, roll it back. And of course, it comes with full instructions. Uh, it comes from the instruction booklet that comes with the kit, walks you right through from choosing the, uh, which wheel to use according to what you're sharpening, mm -hmm. and then step by step, all the way through sharpening. Yeah. You know, the best thing in the world isn't really any good unless you tell a guy how to use it. So That's true. I'm a believer in instructions. <laughs> I usually use them after everything else fails. <laughs> <laughs> and I, what I'm doing is it's just like sharpening a knife here. You go lighter and lighter every time you flip it over. Mm -hmm. And this is actually sharper than any new blade. If you ever look at blades, you all got little ripples on them from the vibration when the machine is. Mm -hmm. I automatically sharpen every blade before I use it. I have seen a big... It's a good idea to touch them up. Yep. A lot of them are sharp, but a lot of them are not sharp. And that's just what you don't want to take a chance on. Or another thing, though, is periodically, I just touch up all my blades. The one you've been taking in out of the quiver, that's touch right. it up now and then. That's exactly right. Now, I'm going to put a new rubber band in here, because when I got rough with that, it yeah, did start... Yeah, put a new one on there. It did start to cover Let's a little bit. Let's see what that beat does. Just the weight of the air. Just the weight of the air. As soon as it moves, just falls right through there. <laughs> That's going to cut everything it touches inside that deer. You got it. You, you stick him with that. There's nothing any more important gonna, than a sharp broadhead. You're going to It's like adding an extra 10 pound to your boat. Oh, yeah. A good sharp You get head. better penetration. You betcha. And when you sharpen on this system, the blood trails will blow your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the knife? Now, I'll show you. As I stated earlier, you can sharpen, I mean, you, you can do knives, uh, Two-bladed broadheads, ice auger blades, utility knife blades, razor blades, all kinds of stuff, just by changing the wheel size. Now, when you're sharpening the knife, all you do is, as you roll it forward, you lift up on the handle till the tip of the knife touches. It's the same thing you're trying to do on a stone freehand, except on freehand you can't get the exact angle every stroke. Mm -hmm. You get the exact same angle all the way, every time, flip it over, you got the exact same angle on both sides. That's about as simple of a device as you're going to come up with, but it's precision. The angle is the most yeah. important. That's, that's the problem with, without this Me. tool, you can't keep the same angle all the time. And you're, you're going to sharpen your knife in the I middle. Don't, I, don't your knife out I don't care how good a guy is on a, on a stone. You can't get the exact same angle every time. Not all the time. Nope. nope. And when you do that, now you stay sharp a lot longer. Well, anything is sharp. It stays sharp longer when you get right. that exact angle. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of times, well, you, 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 you've been to shows, and you, you, you've probably seen guys selling sharpening systems. Oh, yeah. And when sure. they cut paper, it's always a stiff piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And when they cut it, they go fast. Mm -hmm. They're tearing it. They're not cutting it. Because it cuts these. <laughs> yeah, these little rake through things, yeah. you know. You can't get the same angle every stroke. Now, even with the wind blowing, I mean, you can see that is flimsy paper. If you can take newsprint, well, I'm gonna have to, you want me to hold it. Or? Well, no, I'll get it just so the wind doesn't. All right. Now that may be sharp. That is sharp. <laughs> that if it's cutting that far away from my, where I'm <laughs> hanging on, that is sharp. Even with the wind blowing it crooked, you know. Yeah, you can, you can, <laughs> you can work on it here. That's right. <laughs> a little big, but it'd work. You know, the the. the, the the beauty of the system is it's so simple, but it's precise. Anybody it's, can use it. Anybody can operate. And that's the main important thing is is to make sure those broadheads or whatever you know. But for bow hunting, a broadhead has got to be sharp. That, that's what first got me into this business. No, was I could not find a device to sharpen a broadhead the way I wanted it. And so I designed one, and then I just got going and I expanded it into the sharpens off. Right. Well, I think I smell that chili cooking in there, buddy. It's been cooking for a while, and I'm about ready for a bowl. How about you? Well, we can go and do a bowl, and we won't get in our stands, but well, first, I'd, I'd like to tell the guys uh, where they might pick one of these up. Oh, and, definitely. Yeah, I'll get a hold of one if they want you one. Betcha. Uh, you know, you can check with your local sports shop, 
but if the local sports shop doesn't carry the product, then you can order direct through uh, Ready Sharp. Now, I sell the, the Sharpens All kit. It comes with the perfectly flat, ba flat base. It has anti-slip pads on the bottom, so it doesn't slide all over your table while you're trying to sharpen. Okay. Three different grits of the silicon carbide paper. It, it's complete, ready to use. Mm -hmm. three, three different size wheels. With those three different wheels, you can sharpen just about anything. Mm -hmm. And if you want to order direct through me, you just send twenty-five dollars. That includes the shipping. Sure. And I also, just for the guys that all they really care about is broadheads mm -hmm. and stuff. I do sell a kit with just one size wheel. Just for broadheads. And it, it'll do the two-bladed broadheads or the replaceable type. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and that includes the shipping. Mm -hmm. But you, you should check with your local sports shop. Uh, you probably get it a lot quicker there. But if you can't find it, you can send it to me. And I'll, I'll ship it out as quick as I can. And we'll show the address at the uh, at the end of the credits at the end of the video. We'll, we'll show the address. Okay. Wants to go ahead and order one. Then. All right. That'll work. So if that's it, Mike. If, okay. Uh, that pretty well covers it. Why? Let's get a bowl of that chili and uh, get in the head trees. out there in them trees. All right. This buck, attracted by the sound of Noel's horn rattling, moves back and forth in front of the cameraman. But the good bow hunter must be patient and wait for the perfect killing shot.
<laughs> he's, that's a good one. That is a nice mug, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you. You see where he come across that ridge right there when you run him in? I know. He come down that hill. He yeah. come up that ravine, circle around. I think he's never been a good track. Boy, he's a nice one. Man, I'm yeah, telling you. to work better, get it? Huh? That's cool, man. That, I hit that drug call over there when I motioned to well, him. After he came over that hill there, after he started the morning. down that hill. I thought he was going to go that way, down the uh, bridge. Now, he did one time, but then he turned and yeah. draw and circled around. Let's go over and get a look at that dude. All right. Man, that was good. He has a hand. There he was. Oh, pretty fast. The extreme speed makes the arrow almost invisible as it passes through the buck. Note the fletching in the center of the circle. Man, I'll tell you what, he is a good one, partner. <laughs> he is a good one. I appreciate it. Yeah. I think your arrow broke. Look, yeah, there's, there's yeah. this arrow right here. I was How pretty sure it that that was pretty I was pretty sure that, that it broke off. Well, well he, he must have whirled. Yeah. So. He twisted around, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some blood on it, but yeah, I see the butt go down. Let's just see if it's going mm -hmm. away. He went and picked up some blood here. If there's any kind of trail. Yeah, that's great. Right did, up you, uh, did you think you had a good lung hit on him, or did, was it all low? Well, it's just behind the shoulder. Man, he whirled so quick when that arrow hit him. I really didn't get a, a real good look at him. He might have had his legs or something. You know, I still don't see no blood, though. I never saw him. I thought he went right up through here. See him like? No. Yeah, it don't make you give us. You can walk down here, buddy, right here. Oh, he's doing pretty good right here. Yeah. Okay. I can't tell if it's good red blood. Yeah, yeah I can hear him. He's behind the, uh, uh, shoulder there. He's leaving. Oh, yeah, look at him. Good. I just like to follow the blood trail. Just yeah. to see what they do and everything. Now I lost it right there. There's blood all the way through here. Oh, okay. That's good. There's more right here. Boy, well, he come to them horns, did he? No, he did, man. Come over that hill, right? Well, when he stopped up on the hill there, yeah, and I, I hit that drug call, the drug call's when he started down. Right. I thought he was going to follow that ridge. He tried he, to. He come in that ravine and circle around behind it. I wasn't paying a lot of attention to you. I think you went through here. He was right here. Oh, okay. Turn. I thought I seen him stop that ridge. He's made it. Right here, all kinds of it. looks like I went straight. Yeah. Well, he's a dandy. I'll show you that. He's a very good, good size. He's a very nice. Oh, yeah. You think that's something? Yeah. He has a tray. That's a good rack. Yeah. That's a nice buck. One, two, three, four, five, nine pointer. Nine, huh? Yeah. That's a nice heavy bodied deer. Man, hoping, hoping for a ton, but I can live with this. I would think. Look at it. Uh, there's where it come out. Yeah. Man. Boy, that is a pretty bad one. He's made. Perfect. Yeah. Get some over here. Yeah. That'd be a nice to do life size. Yeah, that's a good, good nice body. You want to see where it went in? Yeah. All right. Oh, perfect. Right here. Yeah. Is that where it went in? Yep. Right there. Put a hole in there. Yeah. Man, ain't nothing like a good sharp rod here. I'll tell you what. I know. 
going back down and get your pack and your tag and uh come on back and i'll go back up here and get the truck all right so we good. won't have to we don't have to. <laughs> you're kind of happy oh you? yeah man i love it <laughs> okay go ahead and get your pack and you get it back up here and well, tag it didn't you. take long either and i'll uh i'll get as close as i can to the truck that sucker's gonna be heavy to drag uh, okie doke I'd like to take a minute to show you something that Bracklin Archery came out with just this year. It's called Odor Stop. This is the best stuff I've ever used to wipe out human scent. It will absolutely do away with human odor or any other odor that I've ever tried this stuff on. It's also good for checking the wind. If you're bow hunting and you want to see which direction the wind is in, you just give her a couple squirts like that, you get a little puff of, of dust. You tell instantly which direction the wind is in. But this stuff right here, it's easy to use, and the thing I like about it is the fact that it's in powder form. If you're going to be using it in cold weather, it beats a liquid big time. Because if you use a liquid in cold weather, that's it's not going to be uh, too good when you know when it's below zero. So I think that this stuff right here is going to be fantastic. And I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to to show you and to demonstrate. They also have other scents in powder form. This happens to be apple here, but they make it in acorn. Uh, they got several different ones. Uh, they even have one that smells like fresh earth. So if any of you people would like to try any of these products, all you have to do is give Bracklin Archery a call or look for it in your local sporting goods store. This is a good example of a buck that is pushed, as we talked about at the beginning of this video. The buck may come through at a run, but when he sees the decoy, he stops and presents Noel with a perfect shot. And perfect it is. He's beautiful. Beautiful. Did you ever see one go down so quick? Oh man, you hit him right in the lungs. Boy, oh, he's beautiful. That's what happens when you're real quiet and they're not spooked when they come in. He come right into that decoy too. Did you see that? Oh man. You know, I thought he was gonna take that thing. I didn't think you putting that that scent on that decoy. I didn't think that worked. To tell you the truth. <laughs> he came right in there. See, I thought he was going to take it. I thought he was going to back off the dirt. Oh, man. <laughs> I couldn't man. believe that. You were right. Man, this is how I think it looks that. He's a nice buck. find my arrow man there ain't gonna be no tracking on this one that's for sure I don't believe that buck went 25 yards don't that decoy look real looks real all right I thought sure as heck that buck was gonna back up and take a run at that thing he acted like he was kind of spooked and he jumped back and acted like he wanted to take it the arrow should be sticking right up here I'm almost sure it must be I must have double lunged him because man he didn't go no place
Hey, Bonnie, here should be worth Yeah, here's the arrow, isn't it, man? Look at that. Look at that baby. Blood all the way down. Complete penetration. That's one of them little 100 grain muzzies. Man, I'll tell you what. Them babies do a number. I really like that little head. When they say that is bad to the bone, they're not lying. That one is bad to the bone. They fly so well. Just by like steel points. Hey, hey. I'm just wondering how much he bled. He bled that much. Yeah, his blood right here. He didn't even go far enough to really start pumping. Boy, he's a dandy. Oh yeah, he's a nice buck. That's a pretty buck. Big body. Big body on that buck. Yep, double one. Double one. Look at that. He's a neat critter. That was a pretty buck. He's a damn. Yeah, he's a good sized one. A buck weighs over 200 pounds. He's You're right at him, don't you think? One buck that looks bigger down right now than seeing him in the camera. He's a lot bigger seeing him not through the viewfinder. That thing did a number on him, boy. He is a pretty boy. Yep. His neck is not swelled real big, though, you know. Evidently, they're still not cranked up too much. Well, take all the junk back and then come back and get him. He's a pretty one. Well, guys, I would say we had a very good week. Myself, what would you say? I had a blast. We got a few nice ones. We had uh, we had some good hunts. And uh, Dave had a chance to see how that horn really can work. Yeah, it works great. That's the first time you ever seen a, a buck yeah. come to the horns? Yep. It, yep. Doesn't, it doesn't work every time. And that was a nice one. Oh, that's yeah, super no, that was. It doesn't work every time you, you try it, but uh, when it does, it's exciting. Right. And it's the grunt working. call, a lot of times you wouldn't even need the horn. You know, if a buck hears that grunt call, he, he'll come with that grunt call just the same as he'll come rattling. But the yeah. grunt call is just frosting. Uh, when a buck gets in close, like well on that buck of yours, mm -hmm. he comes to the horns, but he was close enough that I was afraid to use the horns anymore, and I switched to the grunt call, and he keep him interested, and he, yeah. he it brought him on yep. in. So right. you can see how the grunt call can be uh, worth its weight in gold to you. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah. that and the decoy, as uh, you know, we mentioned earlier about how a decoy will work. A lot of times when you're making a push, uh, the deer will come through on the run. Yeah, you, well, don't want was, to, you don't want to take a running shot. I was impressed with that because that's the first time I've done a push. Well, the decoy can help you when you're when you're horn rattling, using the call. And that's how most people use the decoy. But it can work too, as you've seen, when you're making these drives or pushes, when the deer comes through on, on the run or trotting or whatever, and, and you put that decoy out about 30 yards past the guy that's going to do the shooting, and he sees the decoy and he throws the brakes on, yep. and he's right on top of and the shooter. And it gives you that couple of seconds, and you get the edge. Just to, so, you know, that's yep. all it takes sometimes. Yep, to draw the so, bow or whatever. Yeah. Right. And uh, well, we yep. had a very good week, I thought. Uh, we had a lot of action, a lot of good times. Uh, yeah, I sure did. In the woods and in the in the cabin. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I'd like to take a minute to, uh, you know, I'd like to thank you folks for, for watching the video. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it because we sure had a ball making it. And uh, we're going to be working on some more. And I hope to get these guys back to do some hunting with me. Yeah, if you'll and invite me back, no, I'll come in again. Well, you boys are my kind of boys. You're welcome anytime. So uh, until the next time we see you, you folks take care and uh, good hunting to you.